necessarily need a bathtub. You can also do it uh, in a shower and I'll, I'll tell you how uh, when we get to it. Um, so firstly, you need to um, cleanse your space, okay? So whether it's a bathtub or a shower, that needs to be cleaned before whatever purpose that you want to achieve through the ritual path needs to be done. You need to create space for magic. Um, so whether you go with the usual uh, cleaning methods that you may have, you know, using using products, uh, chemical products, or going the natural way, for instance, you can use vinegar um, to clean your bathtub, or you can use uh, lemon and salt can take a lemon, slice it in half, just sprinkle uh, salt all over your um, area, so a bathtub or, you know, the, the shower caddy, um, and then you can scrub it with the lemon halves, uh, but just make sure that the, the material uh, of the shower or the, or the tub cannot be scratched because salt can sometimes um, leave a uh, small scratch. Uh, scratches. So whatever you do, however you want to clean, that's fine. After you're done, just make sure to rinse with um, hot water. Then what you can do is grab whatever you need uh, for whenever you're in the shower or in the bathtub. So for instance, you can maybe get candles or incense or uh, the salts that I'm going to show you um, or different herbs or plants or whatever you need for your ritual bath. Um, maybe you want to grab a book, maybe you want to grab a glass of wine, um, you know, um, a journal, um, you know, you can always uh, get crystals as well maybe some grounding crystals just make sure that the crystal doesn't dissolve in the water like selenite I talked about that in my video uh, with the crystals which I'll link here at the top then you can start to fill your tub um, and add your favorite um, salt based products so here I have some herbs and some salt. You can look at the salt and see how, how nicely cut it is. Pretty sure I've shown you this one um, in one of my previous videos. Uh, actually one of my first videos. I only got just this bit left from, uh, from all that jar. Um, but you can add whatever Whatever you feel comfortable in the water, you can you can add uh, some sort of salt-based blend with herbs or bath bomb um, uh, oils, not essential oils. Just make sure that whatever you use, it's um, safe for you to use on your skin, obviously. Um, and also, I have a couple of things here to show you. So. Um, you can add these as they are, so you can just drop this entire thing in the bathtub or you can put them in a pouch just like this one, okay? Or make sure it's a pouch that can actually breathe, um, so maybe like one of the tea pouches or like a cotton pouch, it doesn't have to be this or this or you don't have to put it like that if you don't want to. And the same apply for um, taking a shower. You know, you can put whatever uh, salt-based blend that you have in one of these and hang it uh, to the shower head. And when the water comes through, uh, it still will touch your body and it will still have the desired purpose. Um, Let's see, um, I wanted to show you actually um, a couple more um, blends that I have. Um, let me put this back. This also makes nice, nice sounds. Okay, um, 
also you can use something like this I think you can find them in bulk so they are paper uh, pumpkin I'm not sure if it's paper actually looks like a paper pouch and you can put the, the herbs or the uh, flowers inside here so let me show you some of the other things that I have so this one
visualize how the water is cleansing your body and as I said if you used um, any plants that have you know petals or like bigger chunks such as this one uh, you can Lounge 